Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be going over bracket orders in the CQG desktop platform. More specifically, I'll be going over the definition of bracket orders, how to place them, and where they are located on this platform. All right, so first up, I would suggest to add a new blank page. That way we can stay organized and on track. So head over to the left-hand window and click on the Add Page button. From here, go to Empty Page, and if you'd like, you can name it. And then once you're done, hit OK. And as you can see, we are on a brand new page and we have a blank platform to work with. From here, we'll go to Add Widget, and bracket orders are actually located in the HOT, the Hot Hybrid Order Ticket, otherwise known as a dome chart on many other platforms. So if we click on that, it will open up the Hot or the Dome Chart on our platform window. So now that we have the Hot Chart open, we can activate or access bracket orders by heading onto the right panel of our Dome Chart. If this isn't displayed here, you may have to click on these right arrows. This will expand the sidebar to open up all these extra trading icons. Now, if you'll notice by default, the first one that is appeared on the screen in the smart order section is an OCO order. To change this, you'll simply need to click on the drop down arrow. And as you can see here, we have gained access to different bracket modes. If we click on bracket mode, we can now activate bracket orders. Or we can also go in here and then click on custom bracket settings to adjust the specific settings of our bracket orders when we do end up placing an order. That being said, I think this is a good time to go over the definition of bracket orders. Now, bracket orders are a form of a smart order, and it is a multiple leg order places order, otherwise known as an OPO. Now, what happens is the first leg which is your main price leg, is in order with any regular order. And then once that leg is filled or partially filled, either one or two additional orders are placed. And there's three different options here. The main order can either trigger a stop loss, the main order can trigger a target order, or finally, it can be a combination of both. The main order can trigger both a target order, which is a profit leg, and a stop order, which is the loss leg. Now, in the event that both a profit leg and a stop leg loss are placed, if one of those orders are filled, then the other order is automatically canceled. So that being said, now that you have the definition out of the way, this screen may make a little bit more sense here. So as you can see, we have the bracket parameters for our contract, and we have our two legs here. We have the target profit, and the stop loss leg. Now, as you can see here, you can adjust how these are measured. You can measure it in ticks, by US dollar, or by price. And as you can see, we can also adjust how many ticks away from our main price leg there are. And we can also adjust what types of orders they are. We have limits, we have a trailing limit, and we have stops, trailing stop, stop limit, and trailing stop limit. So. Now that I've gotten all the definitions and the settings out of the way, I think it's time to demonstrate how to actually place a bracket order on this platform. So we'll back out of my settings here as long as they're adjusted to my liking. Once you press OK, these will be the save settings. And you can see my tick legs reflect right here, the two different fives. And to actually activate bracket orders, you can left click the bracket button right here where my cursor is currently on and it will turn a yellowish orange color. This signifies that bracket orders have been turned on. And you can see here in my training buttons, there are brackets around all the diff different order types. So now first, we'll initially need to place the order of our liking. And remember, brackets aren't entered until our first order is partially or completely filled. So based off of that, I will just simply place a buy at the market. And once I confirm it, as you can see here, I have both target profit and stop loss legs being displayed. If I need to, I can just the tick amount here. So I'll do this random, but I'll make 
my target profit seven ticks above and my stop loss, I'll keep it at five. And as in the screen you saw before, I can also adjust the order type and I'll leave it as a limit. So although that happened very quick, you can see since it was a market order, it was automatically filled already. And now that it has been filled, both legs of my bracket order have been placed. And you can see here, I have the two different legs of my bracket. Here we have my stop, which is denoted by the octagon, or I have my limit, which is denoted by the rectangle. So now it is possible for both legs to be triggered, but typically one will cancel the other once one of my legs has been reached and once it has been filled. So it's been a little bit over 10 minutes since I placed my main price leg of my bracket order. It was filled immediately, like I mentioned before, because it was market. Neither of my two other bracket legs have been touched yet due to the market not reaching them, although we are getting close to my stop loss. That being said, it is still possible to adjust the price legs of my bracket order. As you can see up here, this was the filled market order that I initially placed. If we go over to the right hand side of this drop down arrow, we can actually add or edit any of the additional bracket legs of our bracket order. So for example, let's say I wanted to add a new stop loss. As you can see, target profit is deactivated, stop loss is activated, and it's currently on five ticks. So let's say, for example, I wanted to change it to seven ticks. And now I can place a new stop loss target. And if I wanted to get rid of my current stop loss, I would simply click on the octagon. And I have my confirmation screen here of the current order. I can either modify it or by clicking on it again, I can simply click on the cancel button and this will cancel my stop loss target leg. Once again, I can also do that for the limit order. Simply go up here, you can modify it by clicking on that and then clicking on the pen symbol. I can modify the size, I can modify the current price, or I can simply click on it again and click cancel. So I'll cancel both orders. And since I do still have bracket orders activated, I can go to my fill report and if I need to, I can set a new set of bracket legs. Since this was already initially placed, simply just adjust the tick settings to your liking and then place your order. As you can see, both legs of my bracket order are now in place. And once the market price reaches one of them, it will place it and cancel the other order. So one final note to wrap up this video. It is worth mentioning that bracket orders are active only when you're logged on a trade. When you log off, you will receive a confirmation message alerting you that you have active bracket orders and it will give you a chance to cancel those orders. If you do not cancel the orders, then the main order is treated as a limit order and the profit and loss legs are canceled. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.